All right, guys, well, time to move the cows to the next pasture. And uh, let me show you around. So the cows are in front of us on pasture one. This is pasture two, another 30 acre parcel. A little thin right here, but for the most part, gorgeous, gorgeous looking stand of clover, alfalfa, and a touch of grasses. I'm walking out, <laughs> excuse me, the wife, L, <laughs> I, won't make, I won't make wife jokes today because she's working really hard. Well, the whole summer she's busted her butt with me. Um, but uh, she's following behind with the step-in posts. And we're just going to run this up to T into the existing pasture. And then we've got a lane that runs down the side. Um, and so that way when they come up that lane into this pasture, they won't keep on going. I am so excited to finally have this system running. It, uh, it's been a lot of money and a lot of time. We started in 18, we bought cows, took land out of production, started putting in fencing, putting in a well, trenching water line. Then you got a couple years before you have your first calves to sell to market and this, and, and start to see any return. And so next year is our first year of all our investment really taking off. And uh, so I'm, I'm really excited, I'm really excited. The last, the last five years have just been heavy investing and not much return. And so the start of next year, next year is the start of returns. But yeah, beautiful pasture system. We got one, two, three. So they're going to three to graze behind the combine where the barley was. We'll get the facility and freestanding panels and tent city moved over there. Uh, Cause then in the next week or two, we gotta run everybody through for their fall vaccinations. All the calves go back to the farmyard. And the steers at the farm go to the farmyard and then the bull, baby bull, comes out for his first opportunity for some love action. And uh, yeah. All right, I got the water tank. She's, uh, she's got the fencer. She's leaving the fencer and the fence tester and some tools for me there. And I'm gonna set this up to where this needs to be. She's got her garden hose kit, so she's gonna come up and hook this up and give this a scrubbing quick. And uh, we've been using some copper sulfate or so I don't know what the heck we got. It's made for water and uh, it's really done a fantastic job of keeping the algae down on that tank. So I'm gonna set this up here, then I'm gonna hook up the fence and start testing fence. We got all our corners done, our repair work from deer damage and uh, stuff over the year. And then we're getting, we're getting a lot closer. We're getting a lot closer. Well, here's the moment of truth. How's this gonna work out? And of course, he got a couple that didn't make it through the gate. So now they're gonna come back on the fence. <sighs> Cows are so stupid. We had to sell them all and just turn the whole farm to black dirt, corn, and soybeans so we'd be on the pontoon by June. Goofy balls. I don't know if they remember where they're going or if they're just excited to go. <laughs> 72, she's a good, she's a good opportunist. She, if you got nice clover here, why run? That's, uh, that's kind of funny. There we go. Hopefully nobody stayed on this side of the fence. Never thought about that. The comedy just never ends with cows, does it? 
Well, they made their first perimeter pass lap. And now they're gonna stand here at the gate and congregate. <laughs> Loiterers. Stand here and loiter. Hey, Big Ten, how you doing? It, uh, <laughs> goofballs. The nicest, the nicest clover alfalfa grass they can have, even out there where it's tall clover, it's still gorgeous clover. And they just walk, 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 feel out their new area. I never understood why they don't just put their head down and just start eating. They can just eat the whole day right in one little spot, lay down and uh, get up and eat the next spot and never have to walk anywhere. But they just walk and walk and walk.